Hey guys, Shyam this side and welcome back to this channel. And today we have Shovik with us. So welcome Shovik to this channel. Yeah, uh, thanks, uh, Shyansha. Could you please just give a brief introduction about yourself? Sure, sure, definitely. So, uh, I am Shavik Dutt. I graduated on year of twenty twenty two from uh, tier two college of uh, from my hometown. So, I am belonging from uh, Kolkata, West Bengal, and uh, there is a college known as Kalyani Government Engineering College. I completed my graduations of uh, computer science and engineering uh, and graduated on the year of twenty twenty two. And uh, on my final semester, uh, I. i actually amazon and like uh, this top product based companies is uh, not actually uh, visiting our campus so i applied uh, off campus with uh, referrals uh, uh, from my seniors all together and i uh, got uh, like uh, 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 oe links and then uh, interview links uh, everything is going to be sorted after that so yeah and i uh, initially i got a 6 month internships uh, from amazon and with my final semester from uh, january to july of uh, 2022 i uh, did the 6 month internships with amazon and yeah, after that i got a pre placement offer from amazon itself and from july 2022 onwards i am working like i have worked on uh, full time uh, sd uh, to amazon all. so yeah. what's what's your and... tech uh, okay Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, so ah, uh, on the tech stack part, ah, uh, I I have uh, worked ah uh, heavily on ah uh, Java backend. So we have it on uh, Amazon, and apart from that, a uh, few internal tools Amazon has created by its uh, own. That is some ah uh, framework specific things, but major frameworks that ah uh, we have worked on that is of core Java backends. Ah, uh, that's all. So now mm. from Fang, yes. What idea or what things ah? Uh, Pushes you that okay, I need a change. So just cu curious, no? Okay, 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 okay. So for my case, yeah, I I am quite satisfied what uh, what I was basically doing in Amazon. The tech stack was fine, everything was fine, and uh, yeah, the things were pretty great. And after that, like for my case, uh, there are uh, I personally feel I am a little bit. Uh, become a more amazon kind of developer oriented because amazon or google or if you are in the uh, that top product based company they have created everything's uh, internal tools and okay. if you are so i i have recently uh, like uh, making some uh, open source contributions they are also i feel that uh, maybe some internal tools limitations that i am basically doing day to day to amazon so that's basically lagging me to make that much contributions mm -hmm. that on the college day i i am uh, making so that is one factor and apart from that uh, that that is very i have to say team specific okay. but your your uh, next quarter goals basically on companies you are going uh, like managers to uh, like entire teams we are going to re do the review at least next uh, two to three quarters plan so there i feel the projects that i have had on my team that is not actually uh, that much of challenging so i have to say that is completely my perspective of view but that can be varied to person to person and uh, yeah that actually the driven factor these two are Understood. the major factors yeah yeah how yeah. did you Modern started God. like since definitely you are three years of experience i am pretty much thinking that from day to evening you are totally busy right and yes. so how you were getting time to learn this things like dsa system design so how you were preparing how much time you have given per day and the journey of okay. course for how much duration correct correct so uh, actually uh, i i made uh, my plan to make a switch on like december of q4 uh, q4 of uh, december something like uh, uh, 10th or 12th of that particular week uh, and on that that particular time i realized the amazon uh, basically the teams that we are working on on that particular teams we are basically launching some critical features all together and our uh, project is something like this there is always a heavy customer facing uh, services that we are holding so uh, within within doing the company's task on the full fledged and making the preparations is quite uh, like challenging for all of us so i i make myself to be in the strong place and i uh, basically after discussing my manager i put the uh, put for resignation and mm -hmm. after that uh, 
yeah yeah and after that like uh, i know ki i will be in uh, one month notice period for sure and on one month notice period i will use my time as as good as i can do and yeah like this way i the one month notice period actually i uh, so one month notice period right. you put into december 2024 right exactly okay exactly. so your end date was uh, like january uh, january mid january or before itself mid january Mid January, okay. like that is of something of fifteenth uh, of January somewhere. Okay, fifteenth of January. I am believing yeah. you missed your stocks, like uh, so. I'm just thinking. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> correct. That's correct. But yeah, like some things we have to lift. Then only we can get yeah, some yeah. more better things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally agree. Okay. Right. So one month uh, notice period. You practiced. Uh, so okay, how you then? How much time you were giving and how you were preparing? what resources you followed so okay so can you take us from that like once you have put the notice period you were in notice. correct correct so af- uh, correct after putting the notice period now you can i i have to say but that is also team specific but most of the cases i i i can say that if you are on the notice period then no one uh, on your teams is going to expect you are going to be that much active face so yeah then i i basically done my uh, entire effort like for uh, I I I I have to say like at least ten uh, to twelve hours I am putting per day to uh, uh, basically uh, the system design things is completely new for me and to basically make a grip on that and that is basically quite challenging so yeah ten to twelve uh, hours and I am basically partitioning my day something like sometimes I will put on DSA and sometimes I uh, basically DSA on brush up parts only because I have almost done uh, very. uh standard level like graph dp and everything so i am already hands on on my college this very critical topic segment trees and this this all i have completed and i have done also cp things so time time bound constraints i also made the practice but i have to bring the things again back to me so that i am completely lost because of the three years so that i have so one one half like day uh morning of the day or maybe of the evening of the day i put uh, dsa and the vice versa time that i am putting on the system design system design like i i have uh, gone through few resources of uh, uh on by google's uh, chat gpt and youtube also and then i have landed to your youtube channels and there i found that the uh, videos uh like you are making that is like quite quite awesome and uh, like there are lots of informations uh uh you are providing so every time i am going to the uh, your llt hld playlist i i took the subscriptions on that times so because i feel i need it and then i have also uh, clone the repository links that you have put so that's basically quite helpful and uh literally i have to say you uh, your channels has literally have good content system design i am totally followed your uh, uh, youtube channel only nowadays uh, some of the companies not all the companies but some of the companies has basically put a uh, machine coding uh, yeah. mc basically mc round that is machine coding rounds so this round is mandatory and for mc rounds i i have to say that uh, you have to uh, make yourself uh, in the keyboard mode so that you can yeah. write the system design code at least uh, one hour Or one point five hours. Got yeah. it. Got. It. I have seen your LinkedIn. I I've seen your LinkedIn profile. You have uh, updated your resume there. It's quite pretty impressive. Okay. The um the projects which you have shared. So guys, if you uh, I will share his LinkedIn profile into the description section. You can uh, check out his resume there. Like the format, if you are interested into looking his format. But uh, Shavik, like any specific changes you have made in your resume or while creating the resume. is there few things which you have considered this yes my resume should have this or i should have in this format or you have taken certain help anything like while creating a resume what you have done correct correct so uh, now everything is available on uh, uh, google if you if you know how to google the things because software en- engineering is all together how how efficiently you can google the things out so that's i personally feel and there are lots of reference is on open source i have to say if you can google and find the things out for you then you are obviously on the good path so i also did uh, the same things i i uh, gone through few of the people uh, who are basically uh, settled on a good top product based companies what is the current updated resume and i am following that particular people who has recently made a switch so i gone through their uh, linkedin profile and found their resume template uh, resume out and after that i i 
I got some uh, uh, video also. So, uh, and I came to know there is a platform known as Overleaf. So, Overleaf, uh, on Overleaf, you, that is a quite challenging also, I have to say. That is not very uh, easy like Nova Resume where they are basically providing the entire template. But on Overleaf or this type of platforms, is you have to, uh, the basically the liability to make your own template. So, basically there are XML or HTML kind of uh, coding type of uh, templates they are basically uh, on the very initial when you are creating an uh, empty projects they are providing and after that you can do your entire xml based configurations also to make the resume to the correct format and few sections for section reference i took uh, uh, some reference from the people who are already in the uh, good company yeah now let's come to the part like the when you started applying like now yeah. you are in the preparation mode you created your resume. Now, how did you start bringing the companies? Right? So it's already 2025. I think by Jan first week, or I think you told first week, now you're ready. So how you started bringing the company, how you were applying, what are your uh, platform where you were applying or various methods you are using to bring the company in? Right, right. So, uh, one thing is though, uh, like, uh, you, you have to be active on LinkedIn, uh, because people are generally posting, uh, their companies openings and things. So, uh, that I personally feels I, I have good connections. So I got the post update, uh, by my connections altogether. So when there is an opening and if I, uh, when I got any openings, uh, posts, then I'm immediately basically also some of the, uh, post the, uh, recruiter email ID also mentioned on few of the posts you can easily find out so you i am just uh, directly mail them so that is my current designation and that is the things i am looking for i i applied and second so that is on the linkedin part and link not only this you have to if you are targeting for a particular company then then please uh, uh, go through like all the people's in your connections to uh basically ask for reference uh so that i also did so i let's suppose i am interested on a particular company people so i i will go through my all the connections and i will uh, ask for a particular so now on the referral also you can't randomly message i i want to uh, get uh, this particular designation to your company if any open positions then can you please refer no that is not Ha, huh. that is not exactly the people's people don't have time that much. So the thing you have to do your own research, you can go to the company's website, you can put the job IDs to be ready and you can follow your own template uh, to be in the correct form. And then you can try messaging to the particular individuals. And that is the actual industry standard process we have right. to follow. Yeah. So for LinkedIn, these two, I did uh, heavily on my, uh, uh, like job hunting phase. And the third one is, uh, the Nokri profiles I have updated and uh, that is from Nokri also I got some calls from the recruiter and the fourth thing is that is a very modern trends of that has started that is of Insta hire. So Insta hire also like now uh, basically recruiters are directly posting job updates on the Insta hire and you can directly apply to the Insta hire. So, okay. so that is kind of LinkedIn easy apply kind of things on LinkedIn. Also, you can get the easy apply, but on Insta hire also started the same things. So these three platforms I mostly use one is LinkedIn, the strategy I have already discussed. Second one is Nokri. Nokri, you have to just update your profile on daily basis. Just put your resume, uh, put and then, uh, down back and then again upload. So this way, so that basically means you are uh, active on that particular platform. Okay. And the third one is, uh, uh Insta hired, uh, updating my, uh, okay. entire profiles on the, Insta. what all rounds at high level, if you can tell you face. Right, right. So, uh, that can be vary from company to company perspective. So some company has five to six rounds, some company has four to three to four rounds that is varied, but every company has set their own bar to, uh, uh basically judge a particular candidate. Mm -hmm. So, uh, on that part, like, uh, if you are applying for a fresher role, like what I did for Amazon, so there you can, uh, mostly, uh, like, uh, except some, uh, kind of, uh, two, one to two DSA rounds based on the company you are, uh, looking for. And after that, there is a kind of behavioral or, uh, behavioral rounds, how basically as a good team player, you, you have worked on, on your, uh, uh college project, something like this. And that is the standard templates. And if you are look, if you are applying for more than a experience level, that is a kind of SD to entry level SD to for my case, I am applying for a entry level SD to, uh, so 
on that basically you can expect dsa obviously dsa is must for any product based company yeah. you are going to get uh, any rounds of that so one or some company may be asked to two rounds for the dsa and online assessments also is going to be company to company vary some company if you are directly recruiter is reaching so most of the cases you are going to get the direct interview and if you if you are uh, on the correct path of the like exact uh, same drive or something then you can uh, have to put one uh, online assessment right. uh, that is on uh, second and after that we have one rounds of system design uh, on at least entry level of uh, sd2 or uh, the uh, basically the post i am looking for one kind of system design that can be hld llt or combine of both okay. so my case mostly it is combine of hld llt so you have to understand of a syst how system basically on the high level is working and low level implementation you have to be okay. very good on this because okay. the company you are going to do that and the third or very last round i have to say it can be mostly your hiring manager rounds where you are going to uh, get the team fittings or behavioral kind of discussions and last round can be hr discussions for your negotiations or the uh, amount uh, part right got it cool thanks thanks a lot yeah that's pretty much from my side man like thanks a lot man and i will share your linkedin profile in the description section if anybody also has some query which i haven't asked or which you haven't shared they will directly reach out to you will that be fine right yeah yeah sure sure definitely, definitely. okay man Anytime thanks thanks a lot thank you thank you thanks